So, you need a larger car. Maybe you've got a growing family, and you've got to sell a hot hatch, or a sports car, or maybe you just prefer bigger cars. Well, there's some great options for you. You don't have to buy some ordinary, slow, mundane Euro box. So let's take a look. The Volvo V70R. It's one of the ultimate sleepers. A lot of people think the design's a bit boring, but I really like the car. I think it looks great. We don't all want Mitsubishi Evos. It has that typical minimal Swedish design with an awesome engine. And with this being an estate, it's ideal for a family. And like the previous generation, it has all-wheel drive. It has a 2.5 five-cylinder turbo engine. It makes 300 brake horsepower and a 0-60 time in just under 6 seconds. I think the engine is pretty similar or the same to the Focus STs. I'm not 100% sure, maybe you can let me know. So overall, it is a great choice. And there's some great buys. I found this easily with 54,000 miles for £7,795. It's in great condition, a great colour, and it even has a six month warranty for extra peace of mind. The Ford Mondeo ST220. Who doesn't love a fast Ford? Especially one you can get all the family in and lots of luggage in either the saloon, the hatchback, or the estate version. Now, the Mondeo has the reliable 3-litre V6 engine. It develops 225 brake horsepower with a 0-60 time of 6.8 seconds, so it's fast in a straight line. It's also one of the best handling saloons of its generation. Now, the Mondeo looks great in its body kit, and the interior is just as nice with its figure-hugging Recaro seats. Now, there's still quite a few high-mileage rough examples around, but there is the odd diamond in the rough like this 2006 model I found. It's only done 57,000 miles, it's just under 5,000 pounds, and it looks great in black. But for me, I'd want one in performance blue. The Jaguar S-Type R. Jaguar, in this last 10 years, has massively changed its image and the look of its cars. And it's all for the best. I do like the new Jag styling, I think they made the right choice. But there's definitely something about the older, traditional styling that lots of us still love. The S-Type is the last of that style, and it has a lot of Mark II Jag styling cues. This big cat has a 4.2 litre supercharged engine, with 400 brake horsepower and 0-60 in 5.3 seconds, so it's quick. The interior is well refined, the space for all the family, and when you want to get excited, just put your foot down. Now having a 400 brake horsepower car means economy isn't great, but it's definitely a price worth paying for. I found this 2005 model with 86,000 miles, which is pretty decent for its age, and it's the facelift version, for £5,495. And if you are on a tighter budget, high mileage examples are a bit cheaper. The Vauxhall Vectra VXR. In the 2000s, Vauxhall promoted this whole VXR range with a bit of a bad boy image, and it worked really well. Under the bonnet of this car is a 2.8 litre twin scroll turbocharged V6. It has 276 brake horsepower, it'll do 0 to 60 in 6.1 seconds. Vauxhall also stiffened the chassis and the damper settings to make it more racier and to handle the power better, but that didn't really work out very well. Although the car is pretty rapid in a straight line. The car looks great, it can easily be used for a family, although the interior is pretty boring. In the 2000s, this VXR was the unmarked car of choice for police forces in the UK, as it's fast and it's practical. Now, you can buy high mileage versions of this car for as little as £2,000, but I found this 2009 VXR with only 44,000 miles for £7,000. The car is pretty mint, but that is getting quite close to insignia VXR money. The Subaru Impreza WRX STI made between 2000 and 2007. Now during this time, there were three versions available in saloon or estate, or more commonly known by their nicknames due to the changing headlight design, the Bug Eye, the Blob Eye, and the more flatteringly named Hawk Eye. Also, not forgetting other versions, having ProDrive performance packs, wide track bodies, then there's UK spec, JDM spec, STI 9s, and special editions. You really need to know your Subarus or research a lot before you start to buy one. The first two generations were 2 litre turbos 
and the last generation, the Hawkeye, received a 2.5 turbo. Now brake horsepower figures can vary depending on which one you bought or if it's had any mods. The bottom line is, these cars are not legendary status for nothing, and you can fit the whole family into the car. There's a good variety of STIs to pick from, so find one that best suits you. I found this 2006 Hawkeye STI with 130,000 miles, which is a bit high, but it is only £4,000, and it has an LPG conversion. So it is a decent buy overall, but expect to pay more for lower mileage examples. There were some other power saloons that could have easily made the list, but I will be making some more videos. Also, please check out my other videos in my channel. Thanks a lot. See you later.